So in this next module, we're going to do some practice of turning the passive voice back into the active voice. And for each of these sentences that I'm going to flash up, I'm going to ask you to actually pause the video and take out a piece of paper and try rewriting the sentence, putting it into the active voice on your own, and then restart the video and make sure you get uh, the same answer or a similar answer to me. So we're going to start with the sentence, a recommendation was made by the DSMB committee that the study be halted. So go ahead now and pause the video and turn that into the active voice. And then when you're done, restart the video. So hopefully, you came up with something similar to what I did. For, to put this in the active voice, you say, OK, who made the recommendation? Well, it was the DSMB committee that recommended that the study be halted. So to put it in the active voice, we put the subject first, which is the DSMB committee. The DSMB committee recommended that the study be halted. OK, so the next example says major differences in the reaction times of the two study subjects were found. So now go ahead and pause the video and turn that into the active voice. All right, so hopefully you got a similar answer to mine. To turn that one into the active voice, you had to recognize that there actually wasn't a subject in that uh, sentence that I gave you. So you had to kind of guess, well, probably this was something in the, the results section of a scientific manuscript. So we can either put the authors or the researchers or just we if um, it's written in the point of view of the researchers. So you have to add a subject there. We observed, or even the scientists observed, or the authors observed, major differences in the reaction times of the two study subjects. All right, so the next example says, it was concluded by the editors that the data had been falsified by the authors. So go ahead now and pause the video and make sure you edit all of the passive voice in that sentence to the active voice. All right, so hopefully in that sentence you noticed that there were two instances of the passive voice that you had to turn back into the active voice. So we had, it was concluded by the editors. In that uh, section, it is the editors that did the concluding. So the editors is the subject. So you would say the editors concluded. But then there was also the second part, uh, that the data had been falsified by the authors. That's also in the passive voice, because what was falsified? The data. So that was the object. And who did the falsifying? The authors. So to turn this all back to the active voice, you would say the editors concluded that the authors falsified their data. All right, so the next example says, the first visible light snapshot of a planet circling another star has been taken by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. So go ahead and pause the video and turn that into the active voice. All right, so to turn that one into the active voice, you had to recognize that what was doing the taking of the snapshots, that's the NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. That's the subject. What was taken? Well, it was the uh, snapshot of the planet. So we're going to turn that back into the active voice by saying NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has taken the first visible light snapshot of a planet circling another star. All right, one more. Uh, this one reads, therefore, the hypothesis that the overall kinetics of a double transtibial amputee athlete and an able-bodied sprinter at the same level of performance are not different was rejected. Now, there's probably a lot of things you could edit in this sentence. So if you want to uh, pause the video and at least turn this into the active voice, maybe edit a few other things. All right, so hopefully you got a similar answer to me. So to turn this one into the uh, active voice, you had to recognize that the passive verb was the was rejected, which came way at the end of the sentence. Again, there was no subject, but we can assume it's the authors of the paper. So we could say, we rejected the hypothesis that the overall kinetics of a double transtibial amputee athlete and an able-bodied sprinter at the same level of performance. And then at the end of that sentence, we had an are not different. And as we talked about last time, the not can be a little bit confusing. It's a little awkward. So you might want to turn that into something uh, positive construction like are comparable. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.